It's no surprise the U.S.'s special envoy for Mideast peace, Martin Endick, is resigning. Talks between the Israelis and the Palestinians were suspended in April, and it's not likely they'll resume anytime soon. But we need to understand a few things. It's not the key to Middle East stability, that's number one. Not given what you've seen in the last several years in this region. And number two, no matter how much we value it, and we think these two should do this, must do that, doesn't make much of a difference unless they reach the same conclusion. Index departure comes at a time when it appears the Obama administration's larger Mideast policy is mired in crisis. After refusing to arm the Syrian opposition, the U.S. now wants to send a half billion dollars worth of weapons to rebel fighters. Uh, we're also at a moment of increased effort with the opposition, so I look forward to this chance uh, to speak to President Jarba and to share some thoughts. After insisting that it won't send U.S. combat troops back to Iraq, the administration is sending up to 300 military advisors to help Baghdad fight a Sunni rebellion. And after first condemning last year's coup, the administration is resuming military aid to the Egyptian government. Analysts suggest President Barack Obama may have overestimated his ability to forge new political ties between the U.S. and Arab countries. I've come here to Cairo to seek a new beginning between the United States and Muslims around the world. Understanding those internal political dynamics, have, I think, have been very challenging for U.S. administrations, this one, the Bush administration, the Clinton administration. So um, understanding those, those domestic political dynamics and incorporating them into our approach, I think, uh, needs, to be, needs to be done better in the future. What's more, they wonder whether the administration might have been too dazzled by the promise of the Arab Spring. Officials here reject that analysis. They say they are trying to respond to each country's challenges on their own merits. And they also say they have to keep one eye on the U.S.'s national security priorities. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, the State Department.